Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Filthy Robots playing Collaboration, Mandate of Heaven with a Roomba. And uh, we took a couple minutes in between episodes. What were you doing, Roomba? I manipulated my estates a bit. I had to move them around, you know, do the do the shuffle, get yep. them out to the borders with a high autonomy and try to balance them. And pretty happy with it. It's going to take like six months for the nobles to be loyal again, but... Okay. My income's, uh, my income's looking pretty good, Filthy. What's yours? Mm, not so great. I'm at 70 total income. What I'm at 100 104. That's pretty nice. Well, that's gross. My net is only 34. My net is negative right now. Ah, ready on pause? Yes, go ahead. Also, I'm training more men. Real men, not mercenaries. I'm, I'm bleeding them off slowly. I'm at, uh... What am I at right now? It's only 16 merc infantry now. So I'm holding a war open, which is a little bit annoying. Don't Which really one? want to have to do that. Uh, it's my second war with uh, Ogusawara. Because uh, what I want to do is wait till my overextension goes to zero before I take a bunch more land. And I'm getting, I'm setting up reconquest CBs in this island, basically. So I'm going to be releasing three vassals if I can. I'm not going to be able to immediately do it, but uh, soon enough. Wait, you can't release a vassal now? Are you at your relationship limit? I'm um, not at peace. So, but you can... Release a nation, go, excuse me. Why don't you do your peace deal, go over 100% over extension, and while you're still paused, release the nation? Um, because, a couple reasons. First, I have a diplomatic mission to reduce overextension. And I have two, I've just finished two wars, so I've finished one war and I'm just about to finish another one. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to take enough land in the second one that I'll be at like 140% overextension. So I might mm. be able to release enough to get under that, but I haven't looked at it uh, numerically to see if I can or can't. So I'm not even going to bother. It's not worth it. Just mm. keep, keep doing what I'm doing. I'm pause you ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm quite close. I'm at, the cores are at 80 and 75%. This is the lowest core right now. So it should be fine. Oh, he's fucking with my core, though, by standing on it. Oh, God. It's, I guess that's the core I care the least about. No, I care about it. That's really annoying. That's going to delay this. I've got the drunk Swede guy singing right now. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? I don't don't have that soundtrack for whatever reason. It's, uh, I, I, people think that I don't ever buy stuff from Paradox because I, I get codes for stuff, but I actually buy all of the ancillary DLC whenever it comes out, the sprites and the music and all that stuff, because they give me the main, the main code, but they don't give me all the other stuff. And I still want to support them because I, I think they're a great company. So I've got this guy, I'm listening to a song called Drik Urdit Glas Sedodin Padigvantar. I think, that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. But he just sounds like a drunk Swede, and it's awesome. I just imagine all the guys that I met at PDX, uh, just all getting sloshed and just singing. Because that's what he sounds like. It's funny. It's pretty special. How much of my core creation do I get back if I cancel it at like 70%? How much admin? Mm, half, I think. Same thing as with like training units, you get half the value back if it's more than 10% complete. So it's probably not in your best interest to do it at this point. I'm probably going to do it anyways though. Because I'm going to release that guy. And it's annoying me. I want the rest of it to complete, so... I normally have this this musical guy disabled because he's kind of crazy, but I'm gonna listen to him for a while. <laughs> Strange man. Oh, one of my generals died. That sucks. All right, well, I'm waiting on two ninety percent cores, and then I can piece this guy out. I don't have to core land before I release the release the nation under it, right? No, definitely not. Especially okay. if they have their own core. Well, you can't release a nation if they don't have a core. I'm assuming right. they do. They have to. Yeah. And then as, as long as you're at peace, you can immediately then give them land that they don't have a core on if it if it borders them. Or borders oh, a sea tile. think about that. Yeah. So, like, for example, if you're looking to expand, you could release this guy. You could hold 100% over extension without risk. They can hold 100% without risk. So you could actually... You probably could peace right now if you 
wanted to. Uh, I want to. I probably actually could now because I probably only have a little tiny bit of overextension. But I think I'll just wait it out to be safe. Hey, uh, your buddy Bukara there. Mm -hmm. He's he's attacking my neighbor. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm he's no all good. he's all trying to expand in my stuff and things. That's not cool, remember? Ouch. Okay. Bodhi's being pissy. I can't believe it. I actually have money, and I can maybe build boats soon. Ah, oh, don't you dare take this core from me. Okay. Seven percenter. All right. I am going to uh, take a peace deal here. So I set it up in the. Oh, I just lost myself money doing that. Damn, I hate that when you have like a, a peace deal like trend like waiting, and then you uh, you move the money numbers around, and you lose max amount you can take. Don't worry about that. Why? Because the number that you can take is always their treasury plus one loan, and the number that's stored in this peace deal is not what you'll actually get, and you actually usually end up spending an extra one war score if the number that you're allowed to take goes down. No, that's good to know. So I'm not getting screwed so, on that. No, yeah. no. Then you should I'm always to... you, you should always lower it to zero, go back up to a full every time you reload the peace deal screen because it's possible that you could get the same peace deal for a little bit less war score and less truce time. Assuming that you want to lower truce time. Mm -hmm. I used to worry right, so about I, that exact same thing. Now from fucking aristocratic coup, which is kind of bad news. Uh, what is that going to fall off? <laughs> is that like the first time that's happened to you this game? That's always no, happening. No, it's not the first time. For me, I, I always my have... government rank. Oh, you you can get up to Empire. Wow. Congrats. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I do that by clicking Upgrade Government Rank. Okay. I'm now in Empire. That's nice. Uh, I gotta give some stuff away. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna release this guy. And I go right-click on my country and I click on Release Nation. I just gotta remember who this is. I think this is... Ah, uh, where is he? Hosokawa. Okay. So you you have administrative ideas, isn't? Do I think I, I thought I read? They lower state maintenance costs, don't they? They're uh, not administrative, economic ideas. So what are you um, what you're asking me now? I have I have economic ideas. Yes. They lower mm. state modifier, construction, yearly inflation, mm. for interest. I don't think so. I don't see a... Is it a policy, maybe? I, I could swear I saw somewhere in the idea group these days that there's like a state maintenance modifier you can get. I'll, I'll worry about it. You find it. Okay. Square your country That's away. That's the first one. And the second one I wanted to do is I wanted to release uh, Sheba. She wanted to release a fourth one, too. I might eat that. Can I? If I eat a vassal, can I release him again later? If I want to. Yes, but if you integrate him, you're paying the diplo points to integrate him, and then when you release him, you give up your core. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand. And he'll also get all of the land yeah, that but he has core on. He's a one one one, so I, I had him I took him because he had cores on I let him out because he's got cores on Kara. Oh, do I get another relationship slot for being an empire? Mm, mm mm. You get yeah. like reduced cooldown time on your Changing on my your focus changing around. your your focus, and also you'll notice if you click on any of your provinces that you get um, a slight autonomy decay rate for higher ha having a higher government rank. I did not notice that. It's like 0 0.025 for Dutch, uh, kingdom and 0 0.05 for for empire. Okay. All right. It's really, so it's, it's really good. There it is. It's an expansion idea group. Finisher for expansion ideas gives state maintenance minus twenty five. So my reason for asking about this right now is I'm wondering. Is it multiplicative? As in, if it lowers state maintenance by 25%, then presumably we're at 75% normal cost, and then let's say you turn on a state edict, does it go from 75 times 3 up to 225% of the normal amount? Or is it additive? Does it go 100 down to 75 plus 200 is 275? See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not paying any attention whatsoever because I'm doing something uh, else. He says, he says mm hmm, he sees what I'm saying, but he wasn't paying any attention. Yeah. Sounds fine. It's good. I'm not gonna get upset. It's fine. Okay. Anyway, it's uh, it's time for tech. I'm gonna take some tech. Uh, 
Nice. 13 years ahead of time on admin. I'm actually caught up. See, Phil, I don't have to buy no damn institutions. <laughs> there you go. Of course, if you hadn't bought built the institutions, them, then, then I know. I'd... I know, you're riding on my, riding well, on my shoulders here. Let's check to see the spread rate. I mean, the Renaissance would definitely already be over here. And I probably would have gotten a colonialism before you if it had come around uh, through North Africa into India. But the printing press is going to suck for both of us. Either you have to develop it. Or no, we already have printing press. Um, yeah, no, that one would be not near us for probably another 10, 20 years. We'd be 50 years behind time right now on that. So thanks, Filthy. My pleasure. My pleasure. What's, what about this next one? Can it spawn near us? Global trade. Ah, oh, this one. I just fuck myself. This one could be something I could make a play for in four years. Uh, I can pause. Oh, what are my rebels doing? Why are they so pissy? It's gonna be overextension, right? Oh, filthy! Look at the trade ledger, page thirty-five. The English Channel. You need to help make this happen. Right now. Okay, are you actually listening, or are you just pretending? <laughs> I'm, I'm, like looking, I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay. Sure the English Channel is currently worth 36 ducats. Beijing is worth 34. If we can make Beijing more valuable than the English Channel, then that means that it can't spawn in the English Channel. Okay. So we can we can force the institution to spread and to, to spawn in Asia instead of way of hell over there. That would be nice. I wouldn't maybe have to develop it manually then. Uh, well, how can we make that node better? Well, either that or you'll notice that the Malacca node's really close as well. I'm at... Uh, 33.5. Well, Malak is not mine. Bengal is mine. Bengal is at 30. You get more states as uh, this this guy too, I believe. As we when get, get close to, or as we get to close to 1600, I'm going to pay a lot of attention to this. I hope. And if if I can't make Bengal or Malacca the the strongest node, I'll just intentionally screw my own income to force money into Beijing. But you could you could do the same. Like, what are you doing with your merchants? Are you steering um, toward Be Beijing or away? Towards. Towards. That where you collect? Uh, no, but uh, it didn't really matter prior to this, but it will start mattering now that I'm taking land more in the Nippon node. But at the moment, I'm still directing stuff to Beijing because I privateer there. So, Is uh, is Girin your primary node? No. Uh, yes, Girin is. Damn. Yep, it means you can't, you, you can't steer away from your primary node, so you can't intentionally like try to send the money from Girin into Beijing. No. Yep. So uh, I'm good for an unpause, by the way, whenever you would like. Yeah. It looks like about the only thing that you could do would be to stop privateering and instead steer from Nippon, the, the Nippon node, to force the wealth into Hangzhou. And then from there, it's going to go into Beijing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of the drunk Swede. Yeah. You gotta be in a special kind of mood. Heir to the throne. Kind of terrible heir to the throne. What can I do? Well, instead of bleeding money from Chengdu, I could send it into Xi'an, and then from Xi'an it goes directly into Beijing. Yeah, I can I can force like another five ducats into Beijing on a command very easily. Okay, it'll be easy then. Just don't let me forget when we get close to that timer. I think I need to fabricate claims on areas that my reconquest, right? There's no reason. So there. No. And uh, there. I, it used to, I think it still does, reduce the war score cost of a province to have a claim on it, but if you're using reconquest CB, it's going to be really cheap to take either way. don't know what the fuck happened to my treasury, but I am getting absolutely destroyed on money right now. Real corruption got expensive. And so, my rebels got really expensive. Sweet, I can sabotage recruitment. It's the first thing I'm going to do to Filthy. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to start messing with Ming if I can. When I look at the province, which is the name of the state? It's the top right bo or bottom right? Top right. Okay. So, yeah. 
top right, West Bengal, for example, is the... It, if you hover over the text, it says it's the area and then the region. Also, the top right, like the state tab itself, is the name of the state. Getting a little bit worried about these rebels. Got a lot. Drop two stability and a bunch of overextension. Oh man, I got a costly embargo. Who did I lose the rival? Kara, but I can select him again, so I should fix that. Um I am coring stuff, but it's gonna take forever to get this overextension out. I think I'm gonna buy stab at an increased cost. That's a little bit painful. At least a one. And I want to get rid of some of these estates. So there's a territory map mode. What's the hotkey for that? Depends. If you're still using the key bindings that I use, I don't know, uh -huh. I've changed them slightly. For me, it's TT. States and territories is, is on, the, on the T. Mm, it's no longer area. that. So it must be a new key bind for you. Yeah. Alright, I can go find it. I had to add in states, territories, uh, state edicts. I moved the loot map mode to Q. I use simple train and loot on the same map mode now. I got rid of the regular train map mode. I never used it. Okay. That's I'm one month. Smart. I can take tech to galleon. I got the galleon tech filthy. Ooh, I think I have techs it's, available too. I do have techs available. Good call on that, remember? That's okay. a new boat. Take that. Uh, it does let me decide what I want to do with this a little bit better. Including, I think, paying less maintenance, right? Quite as much as I'd like. My finances are in trouble. Why? What happened? What did you do wrong? I don't know. I don't know what the hell I did. Did something wrong though. And I gotta get these states sorted out. I guess I can unpause while I'm doing that. If we're moving kind of slowly. All right. What the hell? I think I want these, right? I just got the impression that my subject just cancelled me building ships in his land. Like, I was cancelling some of them, but he... I, th I think he cancelled them too. That was really weird. I'm not doing anything. There's two ships queued. I swear, if he if he cancels the ship somehow. Rebels. Maybe I'm going crazy. Must be. No, I swear, he just cancelled the ship. I had a ship queued up in an extra province. And then it's just gone. This 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 little bastard is cancelling my ship queues. How can he do that? I don't understand it. No, it doesn't make any sense at all. No provinces can be cored there. Why did I do that then? Yeah, I only have one ship queued in his land. And I definitely built a lot more than that. Yes. And yet, when you when you click the button to like build ships, I think he's just stealing my freaking money. <laughs> like you're not getting your the, money the, back either. No, I'm That's not getting it back, and it's it's definitely. I have one ship queued in his land right now. I don't understand why he hasn't canceled that one, but I I had more. I'm just gonna I'm gonna manually queue a ship in his capital. Onasima. You you just you do it. Maybe maybe he was already building something there, and I just canceled them all. I don't know. I could be wrong. No, look, he's definitely doing it. I found it. 
So, the province of Vilandu, he is currently building a ship, and if I keep up another ship, I'm at 20, I'm at 51 ducats, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna waste the sailors, whatever. I'm at 50 ducats, I end in 141 sailors, I'm gonna queue up a guy. And, can you go one day? Yeah. Gone. There goes my money and my sailors. Just, just gone. He's just stealing your shit. You gotta beat him. I don't know if he's cancelling it, or if it's just, like, not happening, but it's definitely messed up. That's some fucked up stuff. Thanks, Paradox. <laughs> I mean, I probably just wasted, like, two, three hundred ducats, and who knows how many sailors. <laughs> We're gonna be crying about that for ages. Yeah, you are. I don't know what to do about my nobility. I got a pop-up that's screwing me right now. I need to make him happy again. And it's gonna be very difficult to do that. Well, I guess I gotta give him one province, even though they're already over. What are the the counters? So at seven, at eighty percent, it's one. At eighty, what? It's two. For the 80, it goes 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay. So, uh, all right. Well, it's Yobo. time for a break. If you Is want some written? time to, okay. to yeah, think I do need to look around. That'd be helpful. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Yeah, okay. See you in a bit.